Are you thinking about homeschooling? If you are, you need to be thinking about the laws in your area. We're going to talk about that coming up next. Hey, welcome back to Molding Our Monkeys, where we're talking about our journey of molding our monkeys, our journey of homeschooling, and hopefully answering some of your questions when it comes to what does it look like for you to homeschool in your house. Um, we're going to talk today a little bit about laws, um, but just as a disclaimer, um, laws are always changing. Mm -hmm. um, every area is different, um, every state is different, um, and then they, those things just have a tendency to kind of evolve and change. Um, just here in Iowa, uh, I think there was three or four uh, laws that at least were proposed for changing some of the homeschooling laws in Iowa. Um, they didn't pass in Iowa, but it was just some stuff that we had to kind of keep an eye on and say, okay, is this going to change the way that we, we do things? Um, so that's just uh, a little bit of a disclaimer of some stuff you need to be thinking about. Um, of, you're going to have to do some research. Uh, go ahead. One of the things to think about here in Iowa, like we said, we're pretty, we've got some pretty relaxed homeschool laws. We don't have to report to the state um, anything as of right now, um, but we've got some options. And so a couple of things to be thinking about is, do you want to be able to receive services from the public school? Or do you want to have your kids dual enrolled in eight, so they're able to take a class or two or from the from the public school or participate in a um, a sports team or a music um, team or whatever um, that in Iowa that's the biggest question if you don't want your kids to be receiving services from a public school then you're going to opt out of that but if you want to receive some of those services you're going to have to report to the state you're gonna to have to fill out a single form as of right now, it's pretty easy. Um, but then you will have to report growth, um, educational growth to the state. And there's a couple of different ways that, in Iowa, that you can do that. And that's through a portfolio of learning for the year or taking standardized tests as they get a little bit older. Um, you can find a certified teacher to um, visit your school and make sure that you're you're doing um, that the kids are growing um, or the school will can assign you a um, certified teacher to do that also um, there's a, a website called the homeschooling legal defense association, association. it's a mouthful um, and I'm gonna throw up a graphic here of uh, a little bit of what they think um, the different laws around the country look like as far as how friendly they are to homeschooling so if you see your state on there um, that's going to kind of give you an idea of, of what that looks like. We're going to put a link to their website uh, in the description of this video so you can take a look at that and uh, check out the laws in your own state. Um, the, another place to look is for Iowa, it's the homesc or homeschooliowa.org has a lot of really great information, a lot of detailed information yep. on um, what's expected, the different options that you have. Um, but also if you can't find that um, for your state or your area, uh, look up the state's um, Department of Education website. They'll have that information on there. It's not necessarily as user friendly, but it's there. It's a, it'll give you a jumping point. Yeah, one of the things that Stephanie tries to do is keep more records than are necessary yes. um, to record more than what we actually have to turn in. Um, so those laws do change. Um, we've got uh, proof that we've been educating our children. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what that looks like as far as keeping records and those kinds of things in a later video. Um, but we always try to play it a little bit safe and do a little bit more than what's required by law um, as far as on our end of, of keeping records of what we're doing and, and, and making sure that we can say to the state or um, whoever asks, yes, we're educating our children, yeah. we're doing a good job, and here's what we're doing. Yeah. So, um, like I said, if you've got some uh, advice for maybe some state uh, stuff in a different state other than Iowa, and you want to share that in the comments, uh, maybe some of your experiences homeschooling somewhere else, uh, we would love to hear hear about that. Um, maybe some of the things that, resources that were helpful for you in understanding um, the laws in your area. Maybe somebody else has um, some, some uh, questions and you can answer those. So we'd love to hear those in the comments. 
I would love for you to subscribe. We're going to be continuing to answer some of these questions and uh, hopefully sharing with you some helpful advice for your homeschooling. So we hope you stick around.